gentlemen, my name is Dr. John Belkowitz and today we're going to be talking to you more about our, our concrete business cards. There's been a lot of interest over these over the last decade or so since we've been getting out to the industry, uh, especially when we have our glow-in-the-dark versions. Um, we also do Halloween, Breast Cancer Awareness Month versions. Um, anytime we have excess concrete, we also make these business cards. And somebody asked a wonderful question. Uh, why, why do we use plastic? Can you use rubber molds? Now, we already did a video on these plastic molds. Um, Patchouli is going to give you a close-up of these bad boys right here. Ding! It was a very energetic ding. I yeah, want to tone it down. Hurt my ear. Hurt my ear. Hurt my ear. Not going to do that one. Sorry about that, folks. That was a little bit of aggressive. I'm excited. I get to do some awesome things today. I get to work with patchouli and make some concrete. It's a really good day today. Anyway. So getting back to this, this is one of those plastic molds um, and the, the other one that has been asked about is a rubber mold and unfortunately I've actually thrown out all of our business cards uh, molds that were made out of a rubber type epoxy. Uh, so this was an, um, uh, what's it called, a two part epoxy that we bought off of Amazon. Um, actually it was this one, this one was made by one of my buddies. But this is the mold that we used for our um, concrete throwing knives. A ding! So you can see, I mean, it really does do a great job of picking up the detail. The problem with this stuff is it is expensive, and as you can tell, just looking at it, and you know, Patchouli's still doing this overhead view, it picks up every detail, but very hard to make, and if you do mess up, I use tape to hold down these throw knives. It really does pick up every detail, which then you'll have to sand out later. So that's just another process. Um, here's another set that one of my buddies made from uh, California. Dang! And man, he is absolutely amazing at making these things. Actually does this for a living. And as you can tell, the way he's made it, you really see no imperfections. I mean, if we did have a mold that looked like this, you know, it would produce the same type of business cards that we're seeing. But my problem with these are they're really hard to clean. You can't just throw them in a vinegar bath. Um, you have to spray it with a set of special chemicals and then sit down and scrub them and make sure you get all the funk and junk out of there because once they're dirty, you're up the creek without a paddle, especially with these you know, finer details, the lettering uh, and the logo, you're going to start losing those if you leave that waste in there. Now, the upside of this is, yeah, they're expensive, it's hard to make the mold, uh, once they're dirty, you know, you're hard to clean them. The great thing about it is they last a long time. Uh, I've been using this mold right here to make tiles for the last eight, nine years, and as long as I put the time into cleaning it, it's gonna keep lasting. With these molds, um, they are inexpensive. They're easy to order. They're easy to clean, as I've already said. We showed you how to do it in that last video that we did. But the biggest problem is they don't last long, and we use these a lot. Folks love these, and we love getting these out to the industry, especially with the interesting mixes and materials that we have to play with. And as you can see, and Patchouli will zoom in on this, there's a slight cracking going on on this one that we came back with some tape, but looking a little bit closer, that crack is propagating across the, the, uh, the mold itself. So easy, easy, easy. They're inexpensive, but they're also cheap, and that's you know, the, the nature of the beast and the type of material that we're working with, with the mold and the material that we're putting in there and how we clean them. So, thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. Let me know if you got any concrete questions, concrete concerns. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you do like and subscribe and ding that bell, we're going to enter you in for a contest to get one of our glow-in-the-dark concrete business cards. That is just absolutely flipping awesome. So, thanks for joining. Go Concrete! Beat asphalt!